guys, welcome to Las Vegas. Today, we will take you through the top 20 things to do in Vegas that won't break your budget. Starting with number 20, walk around and grab a frozen daiquiri from Fat Tuesdays. I know this might sound obvious, but walking around is a great way to see all of Vegas and run across some interesting things and interesting people. Just remember that you will probably be doing a lot of walking in Vegas, so make sure to bring comfy shoes and stay hydrated. We ended up walking 11 miles each day and even in comfy shoes, it still hurt. In Vegas, you can walk around with drinks and some of the cheapest drinks you can get are at Fat Tuesdays. We got a Miami Vice, which is a strawberry and pina colada swirl, which was only $14 and then 10 for refills. There are Fat Tuesdays locations all over the strip, so whenever you run out, there's always a place to get a refill. Having a frozen daiquiri definitely helped with the desert heat. Number 19, the Vegas sign. The line can be long for this, so try to go early in the morning or drive by just like we did. Number 18, Fremont Street. Fremont Street makes you feel like you're in old Vegas. It's really well known for its digital roof, which is very unique to this place. While you're looking up at the roof, you may also see people flying over on the overhead zip lines, which makes Fremont Street a place you should definitely go at least once. Number 17, the Bellagio Chocolate Fountains. This is a free activity that you can find within the Bellagio Hotel where you can watch 2,100 pounds of chocolate flow down like a waterfall. If it ends up making you hungry, you can also buy some chocolate there. It's a quick stop, but one that's really interesting to see. Number 16, Gambling at the Cosmopolitan. If you want to gamble on your trip, I would recommend this hotel. We ended up gambling the most at this hotel since they had some entertaining games and a sports betting area. This hotel also has a beautiful chandelier bar which is made up of 21 miles of strung up crystals. You can also come later in the day and sit inside of the chandelier bar when it opens. Number 15, The Link. This is a nice area of the strip that has a lot of interesting stores and restaurants. This was also where the high roller is if you're interested on riding on it. We did not ride on it, but we did enjoy walking around the link area. Number 14, the forum shops at Caesars. This is a great indoor activity if you're tired from staying in the heat all day. This is a mall type shopping area that has a lot of shopping and restaurants. The ceilings are painted to look like the sky which makes it an interesting stop. There are also beautiful fountains in the mall which are great for photos or just sitting and taking a break. You can also see the Atlantis show here, but if you don't make it to the show on time, the fountain and the fish shake are still interesting to look at. Number 13, the Mirage. The Mirage is an amazing indoor garden with a mini waterfall, which is a nice place to get away from the heat outside. It's a nice place just to spend 20 minutes cooling down and enjoying the plants and the calm of the area. Number 12, Paris Hotel. This hotel is most recognizable by the Eiffel Tower that is seen from the outside and the inside. The hotel is very entertaining to walk around and will make you feel like you are in Paris instead of Vegas. I would suggest exploring this hotel during the day since the bakeries and the restaurants seem to close early and you can avoid the heat outside. Number 11, Pool Day. 
If you're staying at a resort, then you're already paying an amenity fee for your pool, so be sure to use it. We stayed at the Venetian and loved the pool that they had. There were many areas to just lounge and relax, and when it got hot, it was nice to cool off in the pool. Drinks at the pool can be very expensive though, so make sure to check the price before you order from a poolside waitress, if you're trying to stay on a budget. Just make sure to get to the pool early since the chairs do go fast and the pools fill up very quickly. Number 10, Tipsy Robot. This can be a free activity or you can pay to have the robot make you a drink. Prices vary, but a drink can be around $12. This is located in Planet Hollywood and is a quick, entertaining stop. To buy a drink, you use the iPad to place your order and then watch the robot will start to make your order. This is a unique place to stop while you're exploring Vegas. Number 9, Fireworks. We ended up going to Vegas during the 4th of July. This meant there were a ton of free fireworks shows to watch. We enjoyed the fireworks show outside our hotel. When you plan your trip, check and see if there may be any fireworks shows during your trip since this is a great free activity. Number 8, The Venetian. This is a beautiful hotel that you can take some time walking around and look at all the beautiful art that's in it. When you walk around, don't forget to look up as a lot of the amazing art can be found on the ceiling of the hotel. While you're walking around, you'll probably also stumble across the canal shops, which are made to look like the canals of Venice, which will lead us into number seven. Number seven, the canal shops. This is located inside the Venetian and will make you feel like you're in Italy. We love spending time walking around the canals inside and shopping at all the cute shops. There are restaurants that you can eat at and watch the gondolas go by. There's also plazas full of shops and gelato stands. I loved walking around the Venetian since around every corner there was always something interesting and surprising that you wouldn't expect. Number six, the Wynn Hotel. This is a great hotel to check out. They have waterfalls everywhere, beautiful shops, and art within the hotel. There are also moving carousels made of flowers and hot air balloons made of flowers. There's so much art to see in this hotel that you'll definitely not want to miss this. Number five, the Bellagio Botanical Garden. This is a beautiful indoor garden that consistently changes with the seasons. It's a free activity that offers an amazing experience. The plants are all alive for the most part and smell great, and it creates a great place to escape the heat and relax for 30 minutes. Number four, the Volcano Show. This is located right outside of the Mirage and is a free outdoor volcano show. It's a great experience, especially when you're able to watch and enjoy a frozen daiquiri. Showtimes vary, so make sure to check before you walk over there. Number 
Number three, gondola rides. This activity is about $40 per person, which can get pricey, but it's worth it if you're interested in it. We decided to do this activity since we have always wanted to, and it was definitely worth it. We went early in the morning right when they opened so that there was no wait and no crowds. This activity will make you feel like you are in Venice, and for us, it was definitely worth the price. Our gondolier even sang for us, which made this activity even more entertaining. Yeah. Number two, Beer Park. This is a restaurant with a giant outdoor seating area that overlooks the Bellagio Fountains. The prices here were great and it was about $12 for a meal. The service and the food were amazing, but the best part was that we could watch the Bellagio Fountains go off every 15 minutes, which leads into number one. Number one, the Bellagio Fountains. This is one of the most iconic things to see in Vegas, and it's free. The timing of the show depends on the time of day, so make sure to check before you walk over there. Watching the fountains during the day is great, but it can also be hot. Watching the fountains at night is even more magical. I would recommend going to see the fountains during the day and the night since both shows are completely different and they're very different experiences. This was my favorite thing that we did in Vegas and would say it's a must do for anyone who plans on going. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and to give us a like. Comment if you think I left anything out or disagree with my top 20. Thanks for watching!